Okay. Am I still shaking? Oh my god, I think I'm still shaking. Oh my god. Hey guys, I'm John Mafio. This is Mothman Jones, and welcome to this week's Breaking Bad breakdown. And I'm going to discuss this week's episode, Ozymandias, also known as the guy from Watchmen. This episode was directed by Ryan Johnson, and there was hype for this episode. There was talk that it was going to be one of the best episodes in the series. Uh, Vince Gilligan said it. Ryan Johnson, I mean, he's a great director, a great talent. Uh, oh! My God! This episode is one of the best episodes of anything on television and film that I have seen in my life ever. I haven't seen everything, okay? Obviously, I'm really young. I've, I haven't seen all television out there, but I've seen Sopranos. I've seen parts of The Wire. I've seen Walking Dead when it was really good. I've seen a lot of great television. And, my God, this episode, I mean, this whole show has been consistent. People have argued Fly wasn't a good episode, but the show has been consistent for five seasons through. And it all came down to the wire in this episode, and my god, this is one of the best episodes, seriously. It just all came together, and everything that we expected, everything that I expected to happen to this character is basically happening right now. And it couldn't have happened with better execution. It was just perfection at its finest. Uh, my mind is comploding. I almost had a heart attack watching the episode. I mean, mm, let's get into it. So we get a flashback to season one with Jesse and Walt, and Walt calls up Skylar and they start they're talking about what they're gonna name what they're gonna name the I can't even talk I'm so flustered the baby's name and they're like yeah Holly sounds like a good name so flash forward to current time Gomi is dead but I mean people expected that to happen and Hank is still alive uh Jesse's hiding under the car but we don't know that yet and the neo Nazis are about to kill Hank and then for some reason Walt has this humanity still left in him he's like no don't kill my brother in law he's family don't do it and, uh, Hank knew it was coming. He's like, oh, he already made up his mind ten minutes ago. And they kill Hank. They kill Hank. And the look on Walt, Walter White's face when he's shot in the face is, like, one of the most heartbreaking looks I've seen. All oh, the acting on this show. This show better get every Emmy next year, I swear to God, or there will be hell to pay. And you just, oh, man. They kidnap Jesse. They bring him to their lair. And now Todd is making Jesse cook. He's become this meth cooking slave. And he's hooked on a wire that's coming from above the ceiling. Half his face is destroyed. He's like Two-Face. And he's just, he's in a bad situation. Oh, and then it gets worse. Oh, uh, Marie. First of all, Marie finds out about Hank's death, which is crazy. And her to look on her face. Walter Jr., who is the only redeemable character on this show. He's still a happy-go-lucky kid. And he just, nothing. He's so oblivious to everything going on. And Hank forces Skylar, he, she forces her sister to tell her son about all this shit. And it all hits him. And he freaks out. And the acting by R.J. Meddy is incredible in this episode, by the way. And it's just all, it just, my emotions during this episode were just destroyed. I was going to have a heart attack. Oh my god. So they come back home and they find Walt packing up. And they have this big argument where he's like, alright, Walt's like, alright guys, I need you guys to pack. Because we need to get out of here right now. We can start a new life. We can do all this the right way. It's okay. But we have to leave right now. And they find... Walt Jr. and Skylar find out that Hank is dead. Um, somebody almost dies because Skylar grabs a, a house kitchen knife. And they're tussling and tussling over each other. Even, even Walt Jr. tackles his own father. And within a couple hours of his life, he goes from supporting his father to being like, I'm going to call the cops on you. That is nuts. So he leaves with Holly, and this is devastating to Skylar as she runs out of the house and tries to chase after the truck, but, I mean, trucks are obviously faster than humans. So, oh my god. Uh, the family is investigated by the cops. The cops are in the white residence, and uh, Walt calls, and Skylar answers, and Skylar is called a bitch by Walt, which is brilliant. And then... Uh, he just hangs up on her, and he leaves Holly with a bunch of firefighters. Young, alone, and left for dead, Holly, a young infant, is left in the hands of a group of male firefighters. Eighteen years later, she is the first female heroine in Albuquerque, New Mexico. She is Holly, the female firefighter. Da -da 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 -da
Walt then proceeds to hitch a ride, and you see this really beautiful shot of the car driving, the van driving away, and a little dog walks across the road. I don't, know if any, I don't know if there's any significance to that dog walking across the road, but it was a nice little touch, I guess, and then the episode ends. Executive producer Vince Gilligan, so many emotions and so many feelings, so many feels running through my mind, even during real time of the show and even right now as I talked to you guys, and I just, I seriously believe that Breaking Bad is one of those breaking grounds for cinema and television because this show did things that cinema couldn't do. The streak is going way too high right now for him to just ball like Battlestar Galactica, as I've heard. I don't watch the show, but I heard Battlestar Galactica went up for a good run and just destroy itself. This show is going to mark its permanent mark on cinema and TV. And I, I mentioned cinema because cinema is, is a medium that's a movie that's between an hour and a half and a couple hours long. And it's supposed to do a lot of things. But television is a, a something that's strung out through several seasons and several years. This show went on for five years. About five, six years. 2008, 2013. And it was so consistent. And it's becoming... It's it's so consistent. My God. The characters all had arcs. And is I mean... Uh, I can't praise this show enough. However, I realize that there's still two episodes left of this show. And I'm trying to take it all in. Because I'm not... I'm gonna miss this show dearly. Like, this show is gonna be so dearly missed by so many people. It's, I mean, people binge watch this show. I binge watched it last year, and I, I, I wish I started from the beginning, but I didn't. But I'm glad I caught up to this show in the first place at all, because this show is just one of the best shows ever made, period. In all genres, in all mediums of entertainment. It's just, thank you Vince Gilligan, thank you Brian, thank you Aaron Paul, thank you everybody who's involved with the show ever. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, and thank you. I'm John Mafio, a.k.a. Mothman Jones, and I'll see you next week for the second to last episode of Breaking Bad. Bye, bitches. Mm -hmm.